Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, uh, making hay while the sun shines. Um, I thought I would talk about um, Jamaica's first. I think inspired by TT, one of my subscribers, and also as a follow-up from Tony and Singh, who, um, who won Miss World. And I thought many of you would like to know, those who don't know, um, what Jamaica has won or come first in or is good at. And so I can't cover the whole gamut. It would take hours and hours and hours. So what I've done is forgive all of those who I haven't mentioned, but what I've done is I've highlighted some. OK, so um, we have Miss World who came for first four times. We have Miss World of Joan Crawford, 1963. You can't confuse her with Joan Crawford, the actress who used to act with Betty Davis, showing my age. Um, Cindy Breakspear, she was Miss World in 1978. And then we had Lisa Hanna, Miss World in 1993. And then we had Tony Ann Singh, which, of course, was just this weekend. Athletes, athletes who came first, of course, the famous Usain Bolt, um, the 200 and 100 metres and... Um, then we ha and he's the fastest man who ever ran in the world. What an achievement. We have Asafa Powell. Um, he's called the sub 10 seconds king. The only man who has run the most under 10 seconds, 100 meter official races. We have Shelley Ann Fraser Price, the only athlete, male or female, to be crowned world champion over the 100 meters four times, 2009, 2013, 2015, and 2019, and the source can be found in Wikipedia. The first Caribbean island to win Olympic medals at the 1952 Helsinki Olympics, X gold medal and silver medal, 400 meters gold and 100 meters silver. And the winners are Anthony Wint, Herb McKinley, Leslie Lang, and George Roden. Also, if you want to see the sort of anything more about them, you can check it out on Wikipedia. I didn't want this video to go on for ages and ages. So I'm just literally just racing, not racing through, but just covering the names. The first Caribbean country and non-snow, non-winter country to send a bobsled team to the 1988 Olympics. And I wonder how many of you saw that movie, brilliant movie, the bobsled team. First football team from the English-speaking Caribbean to qualify the FIFA Football World Cup in 1998 in France. See all these achievements? Music, of course, we know about Bob Marley, but we have so many artists. Um, Shaggy's up there as well. We have um, Sean Paul. We have Alton Ellis. We have Gregory Isaacs. We have um, Freddie McGregor. We are, you know, the list goes on. So many prominent artists who are known all over the world. Um, we have comparatively first, when Jamaica was placed second behind the USA with a global population of 330 million. And when you think Jamaica only has 2.7 million population, went against America that has a 330 million population and came, for, came second, was placed second. Can you imagine that? The medal count table at this year's World Championship Games, especially when you think that Britain, with enormous resources in comparison, was placed ninth on the medal table. Thanks, TT. Um, so you have to bear that in mind that Jamaica is just a little small island, 2.7 million in population. It's going against the world, against America, with their 330. It's going against, not 330, that's, yeah, yeah, 330. And it's going against England. And yet, still, boom, 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 straight through. Jamaica currently holds all of the men's athletic sprinting Olympic and World Championship records. That is the 100 metres men's record, bolt, 9.58 seconds. 200 men's record, bolt, 19.9 seconds. 
and four by 100 meeting men's relay record 36.84. Um, Usain Bolt, Asafa Powell, Michael Freiter, and Nesta Carter. And where they didn't rank first, they ranked within the top four. In netball, Jamaica is ranked fourth in the world and were ranked second in June this year. And we have, like I said, we have to put it into perspective. Jamaica with a population of 2.7 million. London has, just London alone, has 8.7 million. And Britain has 67 million. And they beat the whole of them. So, and then of course we've got um, people who have influenced the world. Marcus Garvey, um, civil right activist. We've got what about the lottery winner? We had a lottery winner in Jamaica. He won $158.4 million, which trans that was Jamaican dollars, which translates into 1.2 million um, US dollars. Um, we have Jamaican inventors. I mean, there was too many of them. I just picked out four of them, I think, which was Thomas Leckie. He developed two new breeds of cattle that were specifically create, created to thrive in Jamaica's tropical condition. We have Dr. Henry Lowe released uh, the Alpha Prostate Formula, a breakthrough for prostate cancer. And the reason why, you know, when you think about, Jam anyway, let me just finish here before, before I go into one. Uh, Professor Manley West, an ophthalmologist, um, Albert Lockhart and ophthalmologist Albert Lockhart, um, the first medical treatment for eye disease glaucoma. It was derived from weed and they made it. It's called Canisol Eye Drops. And then Joel Sandler created the J Per Knee Prosthetic Knee, very affordable at 20 US dollars compared to the average cost of 10,000. Um, apparently, it was named one of the best 50 inventions by Time magazine. And the reason why we can't benefit as freely is because the US-based Food and Development Drugs Association benefits. And, you know, when you think about who um, all these inventions, whether they're medical inventions, you know, you're not just allowed to go out there and heal the people, heal those who you know, even though those doctors created cures they can't just go out there to their neighbors and say look you know i've got these canisol eye drops i'm gonna um help help you with your glaucoma or even the prostate cancer look how many people are dying of prostate cancer and there's a cure for it made by a jamaican and yet people especially black black men dropping like flies from prostate cancer and yet there's a cure out there made from a bull bush or something like that I've put, I'm putting the links below and yet they're not able to access it so it can cure it and they end up dying for some reason. And why? Because the drugs and administration centres have a hold on it. They make money from it. They determine who's going to get and who's not going to get. And it's sad because it came from a, um, a third world country which is not rich. It it's now governed by a rich country that is meant to, that should in, that should technically help the poor or those people at least in that country, and it doesn't. Only those people who can afford high medical insurance and goodness knows what benefit from it. So, um, what can I say? I just thought I would share that piece with you, and I hope you found it useful for those of you who didn't know that Jamaica is first in a whole heap of things. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.